Hello, and welcome to St. John's Lutheran Church on this Christmas Eve. My name is Pastor Rick Roberts. I love the Christmas Eve service. I love hearing the story of righteous Joseph before the angel came. Before the angel came, he had found out that Mary was pregnant and he wasn't the father. But being righteous, being a good man, he decided to divorce her quietly instead of putting her out to public shame or even having her stoned. I love hearing the story of Mary's faithfulness to her calling as she told the angel, let it be as you have said, I am God's servant. I love hearing the story of Mary and Joseph, a very marginalized couple, given some hope, albeit to be put in a barn to have their child because there was no room in the inn. I love the story of Jesus, God being born in a manger, in a feeding trough. How appropriate for the one who came to feed the world with love. I love hearing the story of the shepherds worshiping the king of kings wrapped in those bands of cloth, somehow understanding Jesus to be the perfect lamb of God who would take away the sin of the world because they too would wrap newborn lambs in bands of cloth to keep them perfect, to be a sacrifice for sin. And I love hearing the story of the wise men, Gentiles, outsiders, led by that bright shining star, bringing their needed gifts for the Holy Family. This O Holy Night is the most wonderful time of the year as we gather to celebrate God coming down in human form for all to see, for all to know God as love. Instead of telling heartfelt stories to help us better understand why God came to earth, like the parable of the birds, which I put on Facebook as I do every year, a great story of why Jesus came to help us better understand God's love for the world. Tonight, though, I want to try something different. I want to discuss, yes, discuss why Jesus came. So here's a few questions. And for those who are just watching this, you know, on our YouTube channel, after the questions, you might want to pause the video and, and see what your answers would be. And then when you're ready, simply unpause the video. So. The first question is, why did Jesus come? So think about that for a moment. Why did Jesus come? I believe the main reason was for the world to know God. Next question. What do you think people believed about God at the time of Jesus? You may pause the video and start it when you're ready. What kind of Messiah did the people want? Yes, a warrior Messiah, a warrior God. Why? Because that's all they knew. Even though their scriptures were filled with stories of a loving, compassionate God from Genesis through Malachi, because of the sin of the world, they could not see God as loving and caring only wrathful, judgmental, and retributive. They could not see the very first creative act of God in Genesis 1 was the light of the world, Jesus, who then created the world in love for love, all to reveal God's love to a very good world. That is what we believe Jesus came to do. Next question, who did Jesus come down to? Who did Jesus come for? Again, pause the video for a moment and think about that. I believe, we believe, Jesus came down for all people. How do we know that? Because of who Jesus went to. He went to all marginalized people like Mary and Joseph, the shepherds, wise men, Jesus went to the untouchables, the sick, the dying, and the dead, the demon-possessed, adulterers, 
Who else? Well, Jesus went to family and friends who did not understand him or get along with him. He went to women and children. He went to the rich and powerful and the poor and helpless. And as we know, he went to all outcasts. He also went to, welcomed, accepted, and affirmed even his enemies, not to leave out terrorists and murderers. Remember forgiving the murderers, the thieves, the insurrectionists on the cross next to him? Yes, Jesus, the light of the world, came to reveal God's love for the world. And all means all, all people and all things. Sadly, not much has changed since that first most holy night, has it? We continue to live in our world, filled with way too much pain and suffering, brought about by our love for self because of our sin, most often at the expense of others. Do you think that is a fair assessment of our world? I do. Why else do we have all the problems we have? Problems that truly marginalize everyone, and yes, everyone, all means all, by keeping everyone separated and not coming together to care for and love one another. Would you agree Christmas, at least for Christians, is one of the most joyful times of the year? Well, even for the most faithful people, Christmas can also be one of the most difficult times of the year. For many, this will be the first Christmas without a loved one. I remember the difficult first Christmases without my mom, then my dad, and my father-in-law. What helped me then and still today is the joy of Christmas's promise. God is with us and with our loved ones. It makes it easier, not easy, but it does make it easier. What I believe helps us all through the many difficult times of life, especially at Christmas, is knowing the joy of the gift God gave to the world on that first Christmas. And that gift was love. God's love for you, for me, and the world. With all that is going on in all of our lives and around the world, I believe it is time to learn and to live God's light of love that came down on that first most holy night. Jesus came to reconstruct, to renew our world, to know and live God's light of love by living God's love for all, which, as we know, is exactly what Jesus did all the way to the cross, the other reason for the season. Jesus came to live the sacrificial life those shepherds saw in those bands of cloth and cause us to follow his example. The only way we will ever have peace and hope in our world is by living Jesus's love and care for all. We are to do what religion is called to do, to religion, to realign, to restore relationships, relationships with God and of all creation, to bring us all together. On this most holy night, and every day and night after this night, may we be like righteous Joseph, obedient Mary, and giving wise people to help God encourage, to have God encourage, equip, empower, and send us out from this manger to feed the world with God's Christmas gift of love. Jesus said, we are the light of the world. May we always shine God's light of love to renew and reconstruct our world, to know and live in God's world of love for all now as we await Jesus's final advent of forever love, peace, and joy 
to come. Thanks be to God and Merry Christmas.